Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will learn about factory design pattern. Just watch till the end, and I am sure you will like this video. What is factory design pattern all about? Factory is one of the creational patterns. The factory's purpose is to create objects. The creational logic is encapsulated within the factory and it provides a method that returns a newly created object. The client need not be aware of the different implementations of the interface or class. The client only needs to know the factory to use to get an instance of one of the implementations of the interface. Clients are decoupled from the creation of the objects. The factory pattern allows us to decouple object creation from the underlying system by encapsulating the code responsible for creating the objects. This approach simplifies as our life when it comes to refactoring as we now have a single point where the refactoring changes happen. Let's implement. I created one empty Java project. Now let's create a new package. Package name let's say com. Design pattern. Let's create a class. Class name let's say factory design pattern. Now let's add the main method. Print some message. Let's run this code. See it prints factory design pattern message. So instead of keeping classes and interfaces in a different class, I am going to keep everything here only, so it will be easy to understand. Let's create an interface. Interface name let's say I animal. Here I is for interface. Let's declare a method. The method will not return anything in method name let's say speak. Now let's create a cat class. This class which implement I animal interface. Now let's override speak method. Here just add some message like meow meow. Similarly, let's create one more class. Class name let's say dog. Implement same as cat class. Here add some message like woof woof. Now let's create an interface I animal factory. Let's declare a method. This method will return I animal. Method name let's say get animal type and this accepts one string parameter. Now let's create a class animal factory and this class will implement I animal factory interface. Let's override get animal type method. Now let's add some simple logic like if the type is equal to a cat then return cat object, or if it is a dog then return dog object. If the input is invalid then it will throw some exception. Let's create a user to find exception. Let's create a class called animal not found exception and this class extends runtime exception. Now create a constructor for this class and call the superclass constructor and pass the user message. Now throw the animal not found an exception. Add some message like an animal not available. Factory design pattern code is done. Now let's add some code to the main method to test factory design pattern. Create an animal factory as a reference and create an object of the animal factory class. Now call get animal type method. Here we are taking the value from the console. Add scanner related code. And at the end call speak method. Let's run this code. Now let's give input like a dog. See it is printing woof woof. Now let's give input like a cat. See it is printing meow meow. See it is working as expected. Let's add some more message like enter animal. Let's run again. Now more clear. Let's give invalid input like a cow. See it is throwing animal not found exception. So like I said earlier this approach simplifies as our life when it comes to refactoring as we now have a single point where the refactoring changes happen. So suppose you want to add one more class for a cow, then only in one place you need to add your changes and that place is animal factory class. Let's review whatever we added. See I created everything in one place so it's easy to understand.
No doubt, the factory design pattern is the easiest. I checked in this code. I will show you from where you can find this. See here is the repository. See here is the code. That's it about this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.